welcome so in this video we are going to see how to uh, connect to our EC2 instance so we created EC2 instance now we all we have to do is go and connect to it so let's get started uh, this is my EC2 instance You're, there are two ways uh, one is the uh, you see it's running so one way is by just simply connecting here uh, clicking connect here and uh, you instant connect so instance connect does uh, let you connect to your EC2 like your virtual machine from the web browser all you have to do is just is the easiest one actually and you're connected you have the you have the command prompt that's the username remember that if you have to manually type it into your SSH client like uh, uh, buddy you will actually when when prompted or you can do it uh, you can simply copy the whole thing and paste it into host uh, the other would be uh, via the SSH uh, from uh, from Windows from Mac it's very easy or Ubuntu you can simply launch terminal and connect directly uh, there is no way to uh, from the Windows CMD doesn't work uh, so you have to go through the putty client with the putty there is a little bit catch from the um, uh, Mac terminal uh, like this one the, this is the easiest because it's just a click you don't have to do it you don't have to do anything from the Mac client you have to have that PEM file dot PEM uh, let me show you where the reference there so right there so what happens is that once uh, when you are creating your uh, EC2 instance if you watch this video here uh, there you have to download that .pem file without downloading and saving it you will not be able to connect to your EC2 instance from Mac or uh, your Windows virtually you will not be able to connect to that EC2 instance uh, anywhere else uh, from other than this uh, management console so you it will you will always be connecting here uh, logging into your AWS management and then connecting to your EC2 you have to have that dot PM unfortunately the only the only time you will be able to download it is before uh, you are creating and launching it like at only at that time when you're done the last uh, uh, click before it says it gives you a warning you have to download it that's the only time you're gonna get the down, download uh, uh, able link to download that file and if you miss it you just click launch you know you're in a hurry there is no way of ever retrieving it Amazon does not uh, store it so the you, your only other option will be in that point to terminate that EC2 and recreate another one so make sure that you do download that uh, PEM I this is a Windows machine so I'm going to show you how to connect uh, via the putty so let's go to putty and for this the putty uh, oh I, we are missing one thing uh, one step so I'm going to show you here is that uh, my dot pem file we cannot use putty directly with dot pem in on on terminal basically you can use just this file that uh, aws um, prompts you to download so the file that you, you download will be a dot pem extension and you can directly use it from the mac or ubuntu terminal uh, for windows you have to convert it into dot ppk and the way to do that is first you go to your uh, Buddy. and there it, you have to download the full not just the client uh, you have to download the full putty installer and you have to have this putty gen and in here you will actually select and it's saying successfully imported foreign key and all you will have to, have to do is save proper key and here you can put it one two three you're just naming it right i already have one i just created another one so i can use either one of them so here uh for the uh fun part for the party 
there are multiple ways you can simply select your where it is the IP address you can paste it in here for either from you can copy it from here and paste it in there I already have that so I just loaded it you know because I had saved it uh, the if you don't want to do it you can simply copy paste this from the uh, uh, for the that key.ppk you have to go to SSH and then authentication in here all you have to do is just browse for that file mine I just created one two three and click open so I want to show you one more thing so, I have two ways of doing it remember the this ec2 dash, dash user I can add sign I can add that add sign over here and it will not prompt me for a username but if I just go like this with the user IP address and click open is prompting me for the login name that is ec2 dash user I click OK uh, press enter and now I'm logged in and if you can see them side by side you can see that uh, the prompt is exactly the same I'm not releasing the window because it's gonna resize but you can check here that it's exactly the same so I am connected to my um, EC2 instance not only from within that browser window there but from the SSH terminal that is buddy as well and I released my mouse the window resized I hate this but I have to live with this anyways if this video has helped you please rate comment subscribe and share and I will see you in the next one